Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to run an automated backup on your Windows computer. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so do you want to do a backup on your computer? Do you have a spare USB drive, an external drive, or maybe another drive inside your computer? And do you want to do things as cheaply as possible? Okay, so if you've answered those questions, then this is definitely right up your street. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna to need to plug in a USB drive or backup drive or whatever you want to choose. Again, if you've got a separate drive inside your machine already, like a, an older three and a half inch drive, like a one terabyte or two terabyte, you can just choose the drive letter. Or if you've got maybe a small USB stick or maybe a large USB stick, you can stick that in, choose the drive. In this particular instance, I'm gonna be using this, which is the Silicon Power, the one terabyte USB three drive, which is absolutely perfect for this kind of task. So on the computer, what we need to do is first of all, type in backup and go into backup settings. Now, a lot of people will use, like I said, OneDrive, shadow recovery, system restore, all those kinds of things, but they're not always that easy to access. And also, if you have a complete system failure, the chances of you accessing those files, which are probably encrypted or on the internet somewhere, it's gonna be really difficult. So it's really good to have a backup that you can actually manually browse through, explore through, and just cherry pick files if you want, or just copy the whole shebang straight back to your computer. So if you use, go into backup and backup using file history, now the first thing you need to do is to add a drive. So we're gonna click on add a drive and this will search for drives, anything other than your existing C drive. You can actually get this to work with a network drive if you so wish, if it's mapped already, that will, that will appear um, or you can change it later on down the line in the advanced settings. So we're gonna click on the games drive. I can hear a drive spinning up. So that essentially is it. For a clean and simple backup of your profile, your settings and all that kind of stuff, that's it, job done. Automatically backup files is on. But if you want to get into it a little bit more, you can click on more options. So this is your major overview of what you can do. So you can choose to backup your files every hour, every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, every three hours, every 12 hours, daily, whatever you want to do. So again, Entirely up to you, your choice. The default is every hour, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And this is the next part. This is kind of slightly more important, I guess, depending on the size of your backup media. So you've got keep my backups, you've got forever, which is the default. One year, two year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. For me personally, I'm thinking Intel space is needed is probably the the more sensible solution. Obviously, do whatever works for you. It will automatically overwrite or throw up an error message if you run out of space or there's not gonna be enough space on the drive. I think it will currently overwrite existing files regardless, but play with it, see what works out best for you. So now we go into the slightly more technical side of it. So this is all the folders it's gonna back up. So you've got your save games, your links, downloads, favorites, contacts, OneDrive, desktop, your 3D objects, searches, all these kind of things which are in your profile. So if you want to do a complete restore of your profile from a system, a fresh install, a system restore, you can do it from there. Or alternatively, if you just want to maybe choose a few key folders. Now for me, I'd probably want to get rid of almost all of those. So what you do is click on it, click remove, and you can go through and trim it and tailor it to exactly what you want. So really all I want on this is going to be my videos, my pictures, and my documents. Uh, favorites, I don't really care because they're synchronized with Google in the cloud. I don't want to back up OneDrive because, well, OneDrive's already being backed up. 3D objects I've never used. Desktop, I very rarely keep anything on the desktop that I actually need to keep. So we'll go through and get rid of all the other things that we don't necessarily need. Again, I'm doing this as an example. You can choose to keep or to remove exactly what you want. Actually, camera roll, I think I will keep just in case. That could be quite, quite useful. So I think that's a pretty 
pretty good setup for what I need. So my downloads, contacts, pictures, documents, camera roll, video, save pictures. That pretty much sums up everything that I need to keep. So essentially we're done. Now you can choose uh, folders to exclude. So say for instance in your pictures folder, there's an additional folder which contains a section of pictures that you don't want backed up or kind of like uh, drafts or stuff you're working on or whatever it may be, you can add those to be excluded. So you don't have to have the entirety of the folders. It's quite flexible in that respect. So all you need to do then is when you're done is click on backup now. Um, that essentially is the same as clicking OK or Enter. So that saves all your settings and it will quickly do a backup to start with. And the backups will continue running as long as the drive is connected. If for any reason the, the drive gets lost or damaged or whatever, you can go in and you can change the settings. So you can choose whichever drive you want to do, but it's relatively straightforward to do. Just copy the exact same procedure as what we've done already. So there we go, the size of a backup is done. So in that quick time in which we've been uh, discussing it, the backup's done. So let's have a quick look in Microsoft Explorer and there's our games drive. So if we go into there and now we've got our file history folder. So that's where all the data is going to be kept. And that's the computer name, Ryzen, Ryzen 1700. So configuration and all that kind of stuff is the, the like the core files for resetting if you're restoring your entire desktop, that kind of stuff. But for us, I'm more interested in data. So if we go into the C, which is the C drive and users, Ryzen. So there we go, that's our folders that we backed up. So if we look in there, documents, and then there's a previous backup. Our, my save games for the games I've been playing, that kind of stuff. Go into downloads, we've got apps, software, all that kind of stuff. But you get the general idea. At least with this, you can actually browse what is inside the folders. So in the worst case scenario, your PC blows up, your removable drive is still okay. You can unplug it, go to another computer, plug it in, and you can cherry pick the data off it or you can rebuild a computer or even plug it into like another computer or laptop or something that you may have, plug your drive in and you've still got access to your data. Okay, so that's been a really cheap and easy way to use an existing drive you may already have to create a backup of your really important system files, your data, that kind of stuff. The tool doesn't cost anything, it's built into the Windows operating system, well Windows 10 anyway. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's gonna be really handy. It's another safeguard, again, You've got your system restore, you've got OneDrive, any other backups you may have, and that's gonna be running in the background, keeping an eye on your system. So, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we will see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.